It's like we're live everywhere. We're live everywhere. Look out. Look out. We're just going to do a double check the volume there. Volume check is good on this one. So we're set to go. Yeah, it looks like it. Get this updated, refreshed. There we go. All right, looks like we're working. Nice. Comments, let's get those turned on. This is on YouTube, the other side. So we're good to go here. Excellent. I think we've got it. I think we've got it all working now. I want to make sure I can see the comments as they're coming through. Uh, we're cooking salmon cakes today. That's what we're making, salmon cakes. Just having a little issue getting the comments turned on over here. Welcome, Caleb. I see you popping up. That's great. Welcome. Welcome. You're the first here on, on YouTube, second here on YouTube. Um, I'm just trying to get the comments working here. I mean, I saw yours pop up, so that's a good sign that they're working. But... Um, I need to make sure I can see all of them. I don't want to uh, I don't want to leave anybody out here on the chat. There's a button that I'm just not seeing right now, so I'm gonna exit out. We'll get in a we'll get in another way here. Switch, go to this one. And hopefully this way works. And then we're gonna get rolling. Okay. Live chat settings, that's what I'm looking for. Captions. Okay. Looks like we're rolling. It's very odd that I can't seem to get a little button for all the comments. But we're going to get moving here in a second. So as far as, uh, I'm going to call it the T-square over here, this app. I don't know how comments work. I don't know how anything really works over there. We're getting used to it. I know how we're doing on YouTube over here. Um, so we can see things on YouTube a heck of a lot better. And eventually these comments, I'm going to figure out how to make things work properly. I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised. Usually it's much easier. So if I'm missing comments on there, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to get the salmon going because it's a little frozen, as you might be able to see over there. Um, and I don't care because I'm just doing it up really quick in the air fryer to start. Only take a few minutes. So I've got, I'm going to wash up here real quick. Oh, mama, still tired, still tired. So I've got a matter of minutes. We've got nine minutes to prepare everything else, which I think we can do it. Let's check out if we can fix this again. In fact, I think I'll exit out and come back in. Hey, Bob. Nice to see you, Bob. And there. And maybe now we're going to have chat comments enabled. This is being frustrating. This is about the time where I would usually throw the phone as I just don't understand why things don't just work properly. I had it all set, and then, uh, and then comments seemed to go away. I'm going to throw one in here to see if it works. Okay, looks like we're working. Tic Tac working, YouTube working. We're working. Okay, let's. Um, how much salmon do we have? We have about eight ounces, so let's do. Let's do a little bit more green pepper. So I'm going to kind of cheat, and I've got my little mini chopper. Out. I want some red pepper as well. These are going to be good salmon cakes. I'm going to have it with uh, some field greens. I've got red pepper here as well. Some field greens. I'm going to do a little bit of a yogurt dill sauce on top with some capers. And uh, I think we're going to have a really good, we're going to have a really good lunch. This is really the first, um, 
Ah, now I can see some comments coming through. We're making salmon cakes. Nice. I want to pronounce your name properly. Is it Kanashpreet? Did I get it right? Kanashpreet? I want to make sure I got that right. So let me, let me know in the comments. Make sure I got it right. Onion is going to be nice. So I'll need about a quarter. Uh, I messed up how many onions I wanted to use last night. But if you remember from Goodfellas Casino movies, don't put too much onions in a sauce. Now, this is not a sauce. Salmon cakes, almost like crab cakes. So if you like salmon, if you like crab, I think you're going to like what we're making right here. Uh, I've got to make sure I'm looking at two cameras. I'm looking over here. I'm looking over here. Now, jalapeno, if you like the seed, definitely keep the seed in there. I'm okay with hot. But I'm taking the seeds out today. I'm not putting the seeds in there. Now, call me a crybaby. Call me whatever you want. I don't, I don't care today. I'm not putting the seeds in there. Take off a little bit of that. So here is one of my favorites. I've got fresh dill. I'm going to leave that aside, and there's a reason, because I want some dill mixed in the salmon cakes, but I also want some dill for the, um, for the sauce, and I don't want to have to do it twice. So I'm going to take this little chopper out first, and I'm going to do my dill first. Uh-oh, only have six minutes left over there. i got to get moving. There we go. So dill, let's get that chopped first, and then I can at least sneak some of it out, okay? Let's lock it in, set that on the chop. How's that look? Looks good. Go a little bit more. I love the chopper ever since. Look, it, call it lazy, call it whatever you want. This is... Mm, I love the smell of fresh dill. It's just, uh, it's a smarter way of cooking sometimes. It wasn't that expensive. I found this actually on, uh, in the store, but then I also found it on Amazon, I think for like $30 cheaper. I was stunned. So I need about a tablespoon for the sauce. I just realized I'm using the wrong size bowl. So now I'm going to dirty another one. I'll set that aside. I should have brought a bigger one to start. Oh, well, this is what happens in the kitchen. So, let's get this back in there. Well, this one's about 30 minutes total, Kanash Pre, and it's going to be on the uh, it's going to be posted on the page afterwards as well. So let's chop these two. We've got our onions going in. We've got our red peppers. This is beautiful. Some might say, "Well, it's going to take you so much longer. You've got to set up the machine, though." And then we can at least get it. We can at least get it perfect. I'm trying to look at TikTok. Did I say TikTok or TikTok? I say TikTok a lot. Chop, 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 chop. How are we looking? Oh, we're looking good. I like it. Let's check it out. Nice. Look at that. That's beauty. Everything chopped up. Perfect. It's not puree because we don't want a puree. So beauty is now we're done. Chopping. Done. Let's move that aside. Get our bowl back. Take this out. Actually, we won't use that bowl just yet. We're going to leave this aside. We're going to get our salmon in that bowl. Okay. So there we go, everything there ready. If I had a cheesecloth right now, I would strain it. So I'm gonna strain it right over here. Done, perfect, that's all set. So while our salmon is still cooking, we prepare. So I've already had my, I've got field greens today. We've already given those a nice wash. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much for the multitasking. I mean, that's a lot of green, right? Now, I made mention on the live last night. Last night, we did a chicken stir fry. So be sure to go and check that one out if you haven't seen that. I, I made mention of the amount of broccoli I was putting in the stir fry last night. I'm going to try and pay attention to both cameras and comments. And I was, I was st stating how much broccoli I had in the stir fry. Maybe I had too much. And I said, 
I've never once in my life measured how much pizza I eat. I'll eat the whole thing. There's no off switch for the pizza. And yet here I was counting the amount of flowerettes that I was putting in the stir fry of broccoli. Finally, I came to my sense and I just put in whatever I wanted on the broccoli because I can't really overeat that. So on the greens, I need greens. This is, this is a good two serving size of the greens. Anyway, next. This is why I wanted a bigger bowl. We'll get some of our Greek yogurt. One, two. I don't need too much for the topping, but we're already there now. I made a mess. Don't want to make a mess. Excellent. Where did I put my dill? Over here. Some dill. Boom! That was dill, right? Not parsley? Okay, we've got some pepper. Yes, yes, live cooking on uh, both platforms. A little bit of pepper, not too much. And um, I'll even do a little bit of, a little splash. I have a little teaspoon here. Let me measure out. I'm going to do less than a teaspoon, not too much. Good. So I try and squeeze lemon whenever I can because I use it in quite a few dishes. And I don't want to have to constantly be doing it, especially on a live. It uh, makes it easier. You may ask, Andrew, how come, or Uncle Drew, whatever we're going to call me today, or Chef Boom, is how come you're not adding salt? Well, the doc says, let's not do salt. And since I started up these channels, I've had a lot of salt going in, and uh, we need to cut down on that a lot. Okay. Did I miss a comment there, Caleb? I can't. What year did I start cooking? Oh, my gosh. I don't want to miss a... Uh... Tic Tac comments over there. Anyone who's liking it, thanks so much. I see them coming through. It's tough without a moderator. Um, if I had a moderator speaking to me and letting me know the questions, it would be easier. What year did I start cooking? Well, technically I started when I was probably, uh, I don't want to lie here and give false info. Oh, salmon. We're going to put it in a little bit longer because I don't want to, I don't want to have to fully cook. Air fryer comes in really handy. I started cooking, I'll say, when I was nine, nine or ten, somewhere in that range. Yeah, nine or ten, uh, full-time cooking. I want to say I started doing that in 1980, let's say 80, 89 for sure, when I was working in my first restaurants. Um, okay, so I'll get some oregano on that salad. So the beauty is now before our salmon's done, oregano, boom! You can, you can flavor well, that cabinet looks like it's falling down. A little bit of pepper. Okay. Do we add everything we wanted to in there? A little splash of lemon juice in there as well. Okay with that. You could put whatever you want on your greens. I mean, you don't need to put lemon juice. You want to use a salad dressing? Oh, thanks, Kanash Priest. I appreciate that. I don't think I'm a master chef yet, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying that. Where's my olive oil? Anyone see my olive oil? There it is. Little drizzle. I'm losing my towel. Okay. So we're pretty much... We're pretty much ready to go. This is great. Our veggies are prepped. We'll clean this now so we don't have to clean it later for when we're ready to plate. And then you'll see as well, we're, as we're working here, we're kind of bringing things out of the way. So we're going to have a station that we can use. We don't need this guy anymore. I can answer a question or two. But you know what? I just realized I can't yet. I had a little bit of tomato left over, and I was going to add that to my salad. One for two, one one on the floor, one on the counter. So let's do, this is a leftover of a tomato. So I'm just going to kind of dice whatever I can into a little sprinkle of a design. Okay. Let's get this towel over here. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Well, that's okay. Uh, you know what, Caleb, is you start. You get to start. That's the biggest thing. We're trying to teach one of my nephews right now how to cook 
how to do laundry, things like that. Great. So salad prep is ready. I like that. Let's give this a quick little wipe down. Put that up there. We've got parsley for topping as well. I've got some capers. We'll be using those. Okay. How's our salmon? It hasn't beeped yet. That's good enough for me what I see in there. Let's uh, let's bring this out. I'm gonna bring it out on a plate actually. Let's put it on a plate. Just to need to let that cool for a few minutes. That's what we're looking for. So salmon, I mean, look at that. Look, I'll, I'll try not to drop it as I show it to the camera, but check that out. You see that YouTube, you see that salmon? And there's a nice fresh salmon for Tic Tac. I mean, Tic Tac. Keep calling you Tic Tac. Tic Tac. You know, salmon. So you notice here, why didn't you put any seasoning? He didn't season it. He didn't. Don't worry. The seasoning's coming. Seasoning's coming. And I I would say I wouldn't normally do this, but I'll always do this. Is uh, I'm going to have a piece of salmon right now. It's just, it's just fresh. It's hot. Check it out. It's steaming. Mm. Mm. Love salmon. Even plain salmon out there is just fantastic. So let's turn this over and take the skin off here because the skin is not going in the salmon cakes. So that's not bad. We're, I think, about 12 minutes for the salmon to cook. And remember, this was from basically 80% frozen. Let's just give that a little scrape here. We don't need that going in our cakes either. Nice and clean. Add that in. Remember, we're going to be cooking these again. So I didn't need to try and cook salmon all the way through. I just wanted to get it so I could have a flaky salmon. Not a flaky Uncle Drew, but a flaky, flaky salmon. Okay, let's take a look at some comments here. I don't want to have missed anything. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Thanks for all these likes. Those are huge. Hey, Dalton. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Kanashbury, 12. Caleb, 10. You guys are... Uh, you guys are young. This is fantastic, and you're learning how to cook. I mean, I'm glad I could help uh, any way that we can, especially something like this, because this is going to be uh, a fairly healthy recipe. This thing's really bothering me that it's uh, – I just hit something, and I don't know what button I just hit. There we go. I think we're back now. I think we're back. Uh, we can flake this up. I think I just found a problem with one of the pieces of salmon, the bigger one. I don't think it's cooked enough, but we're going to see if we can make it work. I don't think I can. Don't watch this part. Don't tell anybody. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to pop it back in. <laughs> I guess. I guess it was frozen, and I should have gone a little bit longer on it. But not to worry. We we got enough to make our our cakes there. So we'll. We'll get away with it. Just don't just don't tell anybody that we're doing this. We'll keep it between everybody in the circle. Apparently, it did need those last couple of minutes. But like I said, we've got enough that's flaky. I don't know how to turn on the radios in the cars either. Okay, I really want to wait for that last bit to uh, cook because I wanted to make quite a few of these. But um, nonetheless, on we go. I'm going to use some breadcrumbs. I'm going to do about half a cup here. So there's my hand. That's a half a cup. That's how we measure stir. Might need a few more. I didn't want to put a whole cup, but 
we might just. We'll add more, don't worry. What am I missing? AJ, good to see you. We're doing uh we're doing salmon cakes. Because technically we don't need to go fast, right? So everything's always well, we gotta go fast, we gotta go fast. Okay. Pepper. And as we uh as I cook anyway, so here's our salt that we're not supposed to put. So we're going to say, just a pinch, not a punch. Boom! I move everything off to the side as we go. Some garlic powder. For that amount of salmon, that's about, let's say that's less than a tablespoon. So let's go a little back in there. We want flavor in those cakes, especially if that other salmon's done. We may add in a little bit more. Okay, this one too. Let's be careful on our... Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Can anyone else say that? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I just put too much. That's enough. What else do we bring out? We've got our Dijon. We've got our lemon. Everything's getting lemon today, huh? Interesting. Let's go. One. Two. And change. Okay. So prep work in the kitchen is key. Um, it's going to keep you honest. I know what we're going to do here in a second. Let's get our Dijon in so we don't forget anything. I need another spoon. Keeping. Keeping. Apparently I need a lot of spoons because I've dirtied up a few more than I would have, I would have liked. Found it. Found it. Spoon was in the Greek yogurt. I still don't know how to say that. Let's go one. Let's go one and a half. There we go. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt in the fridge. Done. Parsley's for afterwards. Those are for afterwards. I know what we need to do now. We need to get, just so we're not caught with our pants down, Let's get this thing plugged in, heated up, because it's going to take a minute. So we want to get that started right over there on, just on a low setting right now, but we'll have it set, and we'll need our coconut oil in a minute. Now you can take a look at some comments. No, Caleb, you don't need to say that at all. Not at all. I'm seeing it on uh, TikTok. Anyway, our other salmon is done, so I think we should. Let's check it out. That's being a real pain in the, pain in the butt, so I'm telling myself I'm not going to swear anymore. I don't know why this is really one piece really being a pain in the butt. Wants to be like that? Crank up that heat. So let's mix. Mix. And then I'm going to add in our mixture over there, too. We don't want to forget that. Look at that. Seasoning combined. And if it's too dry, we'll either add some more breadcrumbs or we can even get some flour in there, okay? So one spoon in. Use this one with the Greek yogurt. We get everything. Good. And make sure we get that last bit of Dijon mustard. Perfect. Let's get those out of the way. So we're coming along here nicely. How's our heat? Our heat's doing well, so we'll turn it up a little bit because we're getting closer. Now, let's add in. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get some of the liquid out. Again, if I had a cheesecloth handy, I'd be using that, but we can squeeze. Still make it. Squeeze. We, what did I put in there? Red, green pepper, onion, some dill. Did I put anything else? Was anyone watching? I need your help, everyone's help, to figure out what I'm putting in and try and remember. Okay. Squeeze again. Smells good. I like what I'm smelling here. 
now that The Rock is back in WWE. Can you smell what Uncle Drew is cooking? My impression of The Rock. Okay, good. Look at that. We, we rocking now. Mix. These are going to be some really good salmon cakes, and I'm going to eat all of this. It looks like a lot, though, right? Doesn't that look like a lot? Looks like a lot. Maybe eight ounces of salmon, but it has volume now. Yeah, I did. I add some uh, garlic powder in there. I opted to not do fresh garlic this time. You don't think it's going to be a, a cake? Remember, I said plural. I said salmon cakes. A few more breadcrumbs. It's a little wet. And then I'm going to bring out some flour. That last bit of salmon would have been nice. Now, you can use, a, if you have an ice cream scoop, you can use a spoon. Good. Check that out. Let's get some flour. Oh, I just want a small touch, a little touch of flour here. I don't need, I don't need a lot, but let's get... Get a plate, get a bowl, there we go. What have I missed on our comments? Well done, well done, Kanash Preet. So on Tic Tac, I'm, I'm hearing that it's a popular live. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know how to see those things on Tic Tac because I'm new to it. Okay? It's uh, completely new. Completely new to me. We've now moved basically everything out of the way. That's good. That's heated. Let's get our coconut oil set. You can use olive oil if you want, but I was actually going to coat these in coconut flour and I just remembered that. Darn it. Maybe I should still do that. I could still do that. I have coconut flour, I believe. At least last, there it is. I have shredded coconut. That's what it was. Shredded coconut. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. I was thinking about that when I, when I was riding a bike today, I was thinking about, I still have shredded coconut and I want to use it. So let's see how this works right here with shredded coconut. We just kicked it up a notch. I mean, right there, you guys saw it. It's happening live. This is getting kicked up a big notch right now. Not set. Let's get our our plate set. So, depending on how big you want to make your crab cake, right? Take it around, mold it into a nice little, almost like a hockey puck, okay? Like this. So I'll show you. I'll bring you closer here so you can see that. See that? See that TikTok? Okay. Now, once you've got that, I've got the flour, but now I've got the I've got the, what do I call this? Shredded coconut as well. So let's just shape again and we'll rest for a minute. I might have needed another egg. We didn't do it. But you'll know in this kitchen, those certainly who have been here for a while, we don't let anything stop us. If it, if it breaks, if it melts, if it burns, we don't care. We don't care. We keep on going. Find a way. Find a way. These are going to make a lot of a lot of cakes. Okay, so I've got two in coconut. Flour there. Flour there. Mold. Now, if we were in a restaurant right now, we'd be much more careful. Uh, it's for fun, Caleb, I guess. Certainly I've not made any money. Not a Well, no, that's a lie. I almost lied right there. I'm glad I stopped myself. Made a little bit of money so far on Facebook. But as far as YouTube goes, zero. Tic Tac, I think on Tic Tac, it's like I don't even exist. I don't want to miss anything over there, though. And I can't really see those comments. So I'll show you these once I've got them all 
finished. I would have liked to keep one of my hands dry here, but this was the audible. This was the audible. I didn't. I just didn't see this coming using the uh, the shredded coconut there. But we're in it now. We're in it now. The good part is, is our pan is hot, so we're going to be able to cook these fairly quickly. And a little coating there. Don't worry, we're going to tap some of that flour off. Move that aside and shape and shape and shape. So how many do we have? Two, four, five, six. This is number seven. Jeez, I didn't know it was going to make this many. So this is good to know. If you want to make these as appetizers for anybody when they come over, a couple of pieces of salmon and you are uh, you are rocking for appetizers with salmon cakes. A couple more here. Couple more. Okay, Ken Ashbury, thanks for joining. Everybody on Tic Tac, thanks for watching. I can't touch anything right now to see other comments, unfortunately. I'm going to keep going in this shredded coconut since it's out. I don't want to waste the shredded coconut. And uh, in hindsight, I should have had a bigger plate ready. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't prepared. Apparently, I wasn't prepared. Let's get this. Last one. This one's going to be a little. It's going to be a little bit bigger. Look at this one. It's a big one, which means when I go to cook it, it's going to be harder to um, keep it together. There we go. We're almost there. Good. I can actually leave this right on this plate. Okay, we're set. I'm just going to wash my hands really quick. So we've got quite a few. Nice. And we'll take care of this so we can work in a clean setting. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There we go. There we go. Move that over there. Just a quick wipe down. It's good though, our pan is already hot. We'll bring that out into the center. Get this out of the way. Good. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Bring this over. Hot. Crank that heat now, and I'm gonna crack a window. I just have a strange feeling. Okay. So we have two, four, five, seven. We've got nine. And I had a little bit of salmon that I didn't use, so that's not bad. Let's get our coconut oil in. Oh, nice, Caleb. It's a little bit too much coconut oil. We don't need that much. Maybe we do. It's good. That's heating up quick. Obviously, we're hot, so let's take that off the heat for a second because we've got a lot of smoke going. Certainly don't need that. We don't need a smoke alarm going off today, do we? It's just comforting to know that this thing is actually working, the hot plate. So we're hot. We're hot, hot, hot. Get number one in there. Kind of do a little bit of patchwork right there. Two, and let's get number three. Okay, so we've got three right now. Three. Let's see how they turn out. I'm excited for these. I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm excited. Let's get this one. Smaller one to work inside there. It's not going to take long for those either. Okay. We get a quick paper towel because our salmon is already cooked. Yeah, see that? I knew it. I was. I had to get there sooner. I had to get there sooner, but I was looking for a smaller spatula and I didn't find it. But we're still okay. 
He's saying, why is he using such a small pan? Don't worry, he's saying the same thing right now. There we go. Not bad. At least we, we caught them in time. I can take a look at some comments here on, uh, on Tic Tac. Yeah, those are a lot of likes. Thanks, everybody, for seeing that. Thank you. And YouTube as well. Yeah. No need to get too excited with these to maneuver them. Let's just start taking them out. I think I'm just going to do two at a time in the next batch with a little bit more, a little bit more coconut oil in there. We don't need too much now. Now, you could also put these in the air fryer too, right? It doesn't need to be in the pan fry. If you want to air fry, by all means. All right, we'll firm this guy up. Hockey puck. On this one. Leave it alone. We're down our second plate. Great. -bum -bum -bum. -bum -bum. So it's not going to take long again on these to cook them. Got our heat going. No, Caleb as well. I just feel bad when I'm not able to answer the questions because I'm looking elsewhere. So don't feel bad about asking questions. The more... The more questions, the better. And the questions actually, when they pop up, they help the live grow. There we go. That's a nice golden brown color in that one. I should bring the, I really need a smaller spatula or a bigger pan because it's hard to, it's hard to maneuver in there. So we've got varying sizes here of our salmon cakes and, uh, and I'm more than okay with it. Check those out. That always look. Those look all right. Again, we, we weren't going for um, perfection size-wise, but they're still good. Hi, uh, Grand Man Bay. Hi, Carly. I see, see, my eyes are so bad. I'm trying to see that from far away. Carrie or Carly? Carly. I think I see an L in there. Carly? Always trying to see. There we go. Let's get these out. I'll take the big one apparently because I'm having problems with using that size spatula. And I'll show you the plate once we're done. Um, I don't want to put too much coconut oil in there. I am going to turn that heat down. Four left. See if we can compact these a little bit better. The coconut, I think, is going to add some really good flavor. So I could have rolled these into better balls, but you know what? We're going to do that right now. As I say, overcome. Overcome any obstacles that you have. So looking good, looking good. Yeah, that one doesn't look good. You know what I could do is I could try it. Mm. Stellar. Stellar. Use the side of the pan as well. So I will get a, a, a bigger pan to make these next time so we don't go through this. But since I've downed it, these are the last four. I've got to be careful. I want to actually make these look good for the presentation. Wow. Wow. This is, I'll just keep doing this. Mm. Those are really good. This one's a bigger one. Let's move that aside. Okay. Come on. This is really... I did it to myself using the smaller pan. Okay, the final two. So I need to have at least two that are, that are money. But I see some creators out there, I'm not knocking anybody, 
and I only post when stuff is perfect. And that bothers me because the majority of people that are watching and the majority that are cooking, we, because I include myself in that, we make mistakes and errors. So don't think that anything you're seeing on the internet, on all the channels, when people are cooking, it's all perfect. They're doing a lot of takes behind the scenes. I don't care. If, it, if it's not perfect, I'm posting it because that's what happens. Okay. But right now for presentation, I'm going to make sure these last two are looking better. The others look okay. The last two that just came out look good too. Come on, Andrew. Come on. Cook like a champion. There we go. Solid. Solid, solid. We're good. We're so close to uh, the finish line, everybody. We're very close to the finish line here. So don't take the eye off the ball at the finish line. Okay. These are the last two. We've got to focus. Got to focus right there. So, again, the first couple, I'll just, you know what? It's there. I'll just eat it again. Mm. Wow. Now, there are people that when they're making these, they'll use mayo. And that's fine. Use the mayo. I put in the Greek yogurt instead of the mayo. Uh, many don't know that I used to compete in uh, fitness bodybuilding. <laughs> so right now I'm not competing in anything. Still strong, but uh, nutrition-wise is not up to par. But instead of mayo, I'm putting in a Greek yogurt. Get a little bit of the protein. I guess you guys can see the camera. The camera angle over there should be higher on Tic Tac. I don't know if we can make that happen now, but we're going to try without it falling over. Definitely easier to operate with the hot plate on the counter versus moving cameras during the live session in and when I'm cooking for that matter. Okay, come on, Andrew. This is it. Finish line right here. Finish strong. Nice. Nice. We got one. One for one. Come on. Come on. Three foot putt. Don't think about it. Just do it. I'm having issues. I'm having issues. Don't pull the putt. Don't. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Work with me. There you go. Yes, sir. Check those out. Nice, beautiful up temperature. I like what I'm seeing here. I like what I'm seeing. We're almost, uh, we're almost home free. I like it. We can now turn that off. Turn that off. Cooling, cooling. I've got to remember that I have salmon in the uh, in the air fryer. So that's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. All right. How are we looking here? It's not over yet. We've, we've got to get these to the finish line on the plate. All right. We have our plate ready there. Plating this will be fun. Yeah. Hi, Barb. Trying to see everybody. Salmon cakes. So we're almost there. Let's finish strong, Andrew. Come on. There we go. In. Last one. Perfect. No really such thing as perfect, but... Leave that over there. So we've got to be careful. Let's set those aside for just one second so I can give a little little wipe down and then move that hot plate. So that hot plate, it's going to stay like that for a couple of hours because of how hot that is. So we'll leave that aside. Move this for a second. Give a little wipe down and turn that off. And this is always the fun part. Right? I call this, some people say it's plating. I call this construction time. Okay, This is construction time for me. All right, done and done. In we go. Plate. Let's get a. Uh, we'll get a board. It looks better on the board versus that counter, I think. But we need one of those so it doesn't slide. Try that. Hot plate is certainly hot because it's getting me sweaty right now. There we go. All right, how's that in our camera angle? Is that good? It's in that camera too. We're looking good there, looking good there, okay? So, 
Not bad for under pressure here, a little bit, but those are our salmon cakes. I already ate one. This one is a bit bigger. Again, I, I could have used another egg to keep them together, but not bad. Would I serve this in a restaurant? If I was charging $35 for two crab cakes or salmon cakes, they'd look better than that. Um, because I believe if you're paying that kind of money, they better be damn perfect. I've had them in restaurants where they charge a lot of money and they're not damn perfect. TikTok, there you go. So that's what we're looking at for our salmon cakes, YouTube salmon cake. So we're not done yet. Try this guy. So on the plate, let's put in, be very careful here. One. Two. Yeah, we'll leave two. How's two on the plate? Is that good? I think two are two are good. So this is a little bit more of our this is Greek yogurt with dill, lemon. Just a little touch. You can always serve this on the side as well. Ba -da -bum -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. And I've got a few capers as well. One, two, three, four. Good. And because we have it, a little bit of parsley. Hand was a little sticky on that one. Want that. Now, to finish that properly, sorry, see, I'm just calling audibles as I go. Oh. These are always hard. Welcome back, Caleb. I'm just plating it. Oh. I can't pronounce that name on TikTok. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm too high. <laughs> Why am I trying to open this with my fingers? Oh, come on, Andrew. Rip it. Rip it. It's going to hurt, but it's okay. Huh. Whatever knife is available. Wedge or no, let's go. There. How does that look? Is that looking okay? Maybe a little maybe a little parsley right on top of the lemon. How's that? I'll, uh, I'll lift it up so that way you can see. I think Tic Tac can't see as well. So that is, how long did that take? Well, it took a little longer than I would have liked, but not terrible. So check this out. I'll show Tic Tac first. I don't want you to feel left out. So we've got a field green salad, a little bit of lemon juice, olive oil, some oregano, a little bit of pepper, obviously some tomatoes, and then in here, the salmon cakes. I'm gonna have the full easy recipe on my YouTube channel once this gets posted over there. So be sure to go and check that out. And if you're not on YouTube yet, please go subscribe over there. That's really going to help me a lot. YouTube, we're growing. We're growing fast. Hi, Blue Eyes. Okay, YouTube. This will be the, um, because this will get posted again later on, on YouTube, I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my 15 second blurb here that normally I get a few takes to do. Sometimes I go one take. That thing is so hot. It's making me, oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm going to do it right here so that way I can go back and clip uh, a 15 second spot. Okay. Ready? One take, Andrew. One take. Count it in. Count it in. Someone should count me in right now. Three, two. There you go, everybody. Field green salad with fresh salmon cakes. Check out that full easy recipe. They're quick, they're easy. I've already tried them, so I know they taste great. You've got to try them too. Let's go. See how I filmed things. That was just a little extra. Okay, let's try some of that. I need to take a picture of it though. Let me see if I can, um, which camera can I use to take a picture? Let me see if I can use that camera right there. I don't know if I could take a picture while we're streaming here. I'm seeing all the names now. James, welcome. Deadly Denise, love that name. 
butter. Am I seeing that? Oh, I see it's my eyes are so terrible. Can't really see. I don't think I can use that one to take a picture. I wish I had a another one, but I've got four phones going on over here. Let's see if we could take one with this. I don't know how it'll come out, but we'll try. We'll see if that looks better. Now we can, we can get in there. Got that. Got that. This angle. So I showed everyone last night what I've learned. Turn the camera upside down, or the phone, I should say, upside down, and take a picture like that. You'll get a different angle on it. It looks great. Kind of seeing how we do things a little bit behind the scenes. I'm still learning. I'm a rookie at everything. Okay. And then we'll do a video. I don't really use this phone at all for video. Let's see. And from here, and from one more, love it. Okay, we're, we're going to be able to try this in just a second, everybody. Now, tonight I'm coming back. I'm going to be doing a stir fry, probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock Eastern. So if you want to come back, by all means, we could do it again. Okay, let's try it. Whoops. Didn't mean to shut that off completely. Still got to get back there. Okay. Yeah, careful on the ears for the boom. Careful on your ears for the boom, Caleb. We don't want anyone's ears to get damaged. Hi, Janelle. Don't want to miss anybody. I know I've missed a lot of people trying to see both. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. Let's... Let's get in there. I'm going to take some, uh, actually, I'll give another squeeze of lemon. Don't be shy. Squeeze a lemon there. Be shy. I want everything here. I want, uh, there we go. I got caper. We've got a little bit of our Greek yogurt and our salmon cake. Here we go. <clears throat> Boom! Everybody. This takes salmon to a different level. I'm going to have another piece right now. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to eat all these um, when I go sit down after. If I can get some here. This is really, really, really good. Now I'm going to critique it in a second. I think if I want to make them a little bit better, you can always make them a little bit better. Um, is it lacking the salt? A pinch, but that's okay. I'm aware of that. Um, I would have made them a little bit spicier, a little bit hotter. I would have made them a little bit hotter. But other than that, these are really good. So everybody, give these a try. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're good. Salmon cakes are a definite winner here. Wow. Oh, there's another fork. I don't know where that one came from. Okay, everybody, that's wrapping up our live, stream, uh, live streams for today. Everyone on TikTok, thanks so much for joining. We're going to do a few more of them over there as I get more comfortable with that platform. But YouTube, bread and butter, baby. Love you. Thanks for joining on YouTube. Go back. I'll have the, uh, this will be posted probably in 24, 48 hours, the, the live stream. And that's when I'll be able to add in the entire recipe and the breakdown. So if you want to give these a try, by all means, but we'll do crab cakes as well. Make anything into a, a nice little cake like that. But look at these guys. Look at them. I'll, I'll lift one up here. I'll check it out. It's like a little hockey puck. Nice. So you can decide to make them thicker if you want. Check that out. I mean, we'll, we'll break it open so you can see right inside. Check those out. See that? See that? I mean, see this? Mmm. They're, they're good. A little bit more heat. And we have a winner on our hand. Mr. A, Welcome. DJ, D, DG, sorry, DG. I was thinking about The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. That's awesome. Um, this paused for some reason. 
probably means the battery is running low. Yep. So on that note, because everything paused over there, Troy, welcome. This who's this one? What? I just got out of the wrong live for some reason. Oh wait. That's it. We're calling it a quit. We're calling it a day. I won't say quit. We don't quit. Even if these, they're so good. Did I already break one open and show you? Check this out. This is our salmon cake. Look inside. Look. Can you see that? Can you see that? You know what? I'll come over here so you can see right inside what the salmon cakes look like. Check that out. You see how close we are to the camera right here? Look, I hope you guys can see those. But these salmon cakes, wow. That's all I'm going to say right there is wow. Marie, hi. I'm seeing everybody pop in and out. And it's fantastic. We made salmon cakes here. The um, These are certainly not the scraps, but I keep on picking them up to break them open and show everybody. So I've kind of got halfsies on my plate. Um, I do have this one over here. with uh, That's our Greek yogurt sauce. I've got dill in there, lemon juice, pepper. Could have put a pinch of salt, but I'm not going to. I'm supposed to cut that out, really. Um, some parsley on top, some capers, a little splash of lemon juice on there. The salmon cakes are just, they're phenomenal. They really are. They really are. Hi, Sammy. I don't want to miss anybody on YouTube either, but same, same tagline, Uncle Drew can cook, exclamation mark on YouTube. So if you're over here and you can go over there and join me and subscribe to the channel, trying to get that thing going. Haven't had, uh, any viral videos yet. Some have done very well. Um, but whenever it happens, it happens. I'm not in a rush. Okay. Thanks for all those likes, too. That's phenomenal. Thank you. Okay. Now we are going to call an end to today's show, but we're going to be back probably in about four or five hours. So if you want to see a nice shrimp stir fry, come on back, okay? Boom! Woo! Hot in here. All right. We're going to end Tic Tac first. I don't know how to do that. Okay, let's see. Swipe to close. How do I end it? I don't know. Do I just exit? Let's try that. Okay. Let's uh, YouTube. It's just you and I now. Let's pull that away. Just, just us. It's all intimate now on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to see if we can figure out this whole chat thing on YouTube. As I have a feeling I missed questions, and I don't like missing questions or comments. So let's see if I can turn it on over here. Maybe I hit the wrong button. I'm not sure what I might have done. I may have been missing. May have been missing some. Nonetheless, we made it. Anyone have any questions? Whew. Okay. All right, everybody. If uh, if we have no questions, I'm going to call it a day here and get to, because I can't, again, I hit the wrong button when I started and I can't see all the questions that are coming through. Darn it. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I, I don't know what I did. But anyways, we're going to end it right there. Salmon cakes, easy recipe. Check it out. Come back in about four or five hours unless... I fall asleep and I don't wake up uh, until 8, 9 o'clock tonight. We're going to be doing, uh, I believe, a shrimp stir fry tonight, okay? <laughs> Boom! Do-do-do-do-do!